tortilla in the pan, load it up with some cheese, chicken, here goes a few pieces of steak. Next up, gonna throw on the veggies, and then we're gonna put another layer of cheese, and then tortilla to close. on gun is live coming at you with another video and tonight we're gonna be making at home quesadillas Rocky's trying to get something from underneath the counter Tucker's over here laying under the desk we just came in from outside and someone's rocking in the recliner laughing at me something funny anyways like I said we're making quesadillas tonight last time we made shish kebabs so Hope you enjoy this video. Some of the ingredients I already got out on the counter. We got tortillas for the quesadillas, obviously. We got some red, yellow, green bell peppers, green onion, and white onion, which we'll chop up and then put inside the quesadillas. We got some avocados to make guacamole on the side. Already got some salsa made up. And then we'll make queso. That way we can have all three of those dips with either chips or the quesadillas. And then the meats that we got are chicken, which we'll cook on the grill and then slice up and put inside. Steak, we'll do the same thing, grill and then slice up. And ground beef, which is already cooked. Last up, we got some beans, which we'll have on the side. They're in the pot. They've been sitting on the stove for a few hours. That way they can go ahead and soften up and just get more overall flavor. It's black beans, pinto beans, onion, and then there's like some seasons and some spices in there. Okay, so first up, we gotta go ahead and finish preparing all the ingredients. So we're gonna cut up the peppers the white onion and the green onion. I'm cutting up the onions, Ting's cutting up the bell peppers. So the reason we're cutting up all these vegetables is because even though we're gonna be having a bunch of cheese and a bunch of meat and a bunch of tortillas we're gonna get the vegetables snuck in and mixed in with all those other delicious foods because the vegetables that's some of the health too that's part of the nutrition so if we dice them up and slide them inside of the quesadillas it's gonna enhance the flavor and also give us those micronutrients so to make up the guacamole we only use two avocados tonight we'll slice these up later on but we got the avocados all mashed up put a little bit of salsa in top garlic. and then also sprinkle some garlic mix it all up together and voila sometimes we'll slice up tomatoes and onions and cilantro and put it in the guacamole as well but we're not doing that tonight so while ting keeps on cutting up the bell peppers and green onions i'm gonna go ahead and go outside and get the grill started for this chicken and steak So that's it, grill started, you're gonna let it get hot and then we'll throw on the meat in a little bit in order to get that cooking. Tucker got a bath today also, his first bath since his surgery, right? Yep, that's so, how he is. Yeah, after his surgery we would wash off his leg where the incision was, but today was his first full bath. He's almost grown back, almost all the way, he looks so cute. Yep, looks good. And Rocky got a bath today. Also, Rocky's looking all clean. Let me see how much, ooh, that does look pretty. Show it, show it, show it, smile. Smile, ooh. so pretty. Thanks for cutting up those peppers. But yeah, cut up some of the cilantro and then we'll saute it with the other veggies. So I cut up a bunch of white onion, probably won't use it all, probably will save some, but we got a bunch of peppers cut up. She's doing the cilantro. The green onion. So everything's almost prepared. I like to prepare before I start cooking. That way everything's ready to go. And I can just this, that, this, that. What do you what do you usually do? Do you cook after you prepare? Do you do it all at one time? I do a combo. Combo. So mom yeah. does a combo. For this, I would have it all laid out because everybody's gonna build their own. So it depends on the dish, I guess? Yeah. Alright. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but for this you have to have everything ready because it all has to go into the tortillas as a stuffing. Yeah, I see that. Well, everything's cooking up. I also want to give a quick shout out to my boys. We got Sky, aka Skittles. He's over here streaming right now. And also my boy Ghost. He's over here streaming too. Shout out. 
to both of y'all. I know I've been grinding a bunch lately, playing these games, streaming, making videos, and I see y'all grinding as well. Proud of y'all. So back to cooking, got the veggies ready. We're gonna use some butter tonight to saute the veggies. Not super worried right now about hitting calorie goals. I'm just tracking macros right now. I'm not focusing on this, 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 and this. I'll do that once I start my next bulk, bulk cut, whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, we're using butter tonight, it'll taste good. The veggies are starting to saute and they smell good already. Before we've even done the sauteing, just from cutting them up, they smell good. Grill's hot, time to put the chicken on. The steak's gonna cook faster than the chicken. The steak we got is pretty thin, but we got the chicken, it's marinated, same way as last time with the shish kebabs and the salad dressing. So we're just gonna dab it at the bottom and then throw it on. So the chicken's rocking and rolling. We'll check on it in a few minutes. And like I said, it's just the way I like to cook. Get the veggies started now, get the meats started now. How's it coming along? Looks really good, yummy, colorful. Nice, did a good mm -hmm. job cutting them up. Back on the chicken. Already moved the chicken once, but I'm about to move it just a second time because I want to go ahead and get the steak on. Pretty thin steak, so started the chicken. First tonight, got some nice char marks on the chicken already. So I marinated this the same way as the shish kebab. I beat it, put some butter on it, put some salt on it, put some pepper on it, that's all I did. Then I left it in the fridge for a while and I set it out about 30 minutes before we're gonna cook it, just so it could start to not be as cold before it goes in the grill. If I could get it out of the bag, there we go. Throw this on the back. Left side, strong side. Everything's been cooking for a few more minutes. I'm gonna flip the chicken one last time. Throw it up in the seasonings. These two pieces of chicken look the best, so look at those marks. And then we'll go ahead and flip. Oh, my bad, that's the chicken one. We'll go ahead and flip the steak as well. Let's see what these marks look like. Ugh. Eh, I might have flipped it a few seconds early, but it is what it is. I know this next part is kind of random because we're in the middle of cooking dinner, but while I got the grill going and I'm waiting on it, I'm going to go ahead and check my fantasy football team, baby. Focus, the Bible reader. Yes, that's my team name. No, uh, I don't really read the Bible. But anyways, let's go ahead. Russell Wilson starting at quarterback. He's a beast. I'm starting Fournette this week. I'm also starting McKinnon because if we scroll down, I got the other running back for the 49ers. He's out this week. Scroll back up. We got Devontae Adams. He's doubtful. I'll probably have to sub him out. Mike Evans starting. Cook starting. Lockett starting. Patriots defense starting. Gonzalez starting. And then here's my other players on the bench. So maybe I'll put Brandon Cooks in. At receiver or maybe I'll put lock it up and then put in like Heinz I can't do Gaskin because he already played but for fantasy football this week I'm actually playing my mom and then if we go over and look at the league standings your boy is on top Bible reader Jordan Rothy two wins zero losses 284.7 points for 221.12 points against update tucker ate dinner he's relaxing outside now rocky ate dinner he just <laughs> laid down and <laughs> yeah he's relaxing outside now also well loved penguin tucker that penguin has a lot of holes in it but guess what and you no stuffing you still love it you still carry it all the time along with your many other toys you happy he said yeah he said i'm always happy and surprised when rocky comes to visit Meat's done, brought it in, chicken, steak, time to cut it up, dice into small pieces. Yeah. You already see, we got the mountain of cheese over here, so we gotta cut up the meat. And then once the meat is cut up, we'll mix it with the veggies and the cheese inside the tortillas, cook it up, and bam, quesadillas. Real quick, can we appreciate how I cook this steak? I think that's a solid cooked steak. Got a little bit of red, the outside's done. Food prep is done, food cooking is done. Now all we gotta do 
is assemble everything inside of the quesa or inside of the tortilla to make the quesadilla. So we got this huge plate of cheese, veggies, meats, and you gonna build the first one? I'm gonna build half of one because I'm gonna leave a space there for yours and Ting's. So I'm gonna put mine here. Okay. I did my half. And I'm gonna do some cheese. You can't do cheese all the way to the edge because it'll melt out. I'm gonna go ahead and put some chicken on this one. Nice. Again, we have chicken, steak, and ground beef. And then I shall put some vegetables. Vegetables, peppers, onions, cilantro. And we don't put the any oil the in the pan, or do we? I just sprayed it. Just sprayed it with the non-stick spray. spray? And that's that. But no no heavy oil, no butter, just non-stick no. spray. That's no, it. Just non-stick spray. All right, All right. we're good. Start yours. Your boy's hungry, so I'm going to make two. First one, I'm going to do a steak and chicken combo. Second one, I'm not sure yet, but tortilla in the pan. Load it up with some cheese, please, yeah. and thank you. Sprinkle the cheese on the tortilla. This is Colby Jack cheese. That's my favorite one. I feel like it's always smooth, soft, creamy. I'm gonna do some meat next. Chicken and steak. So there goes the chicken. Here goes a few pieces of steak. Spread it around so that I can get some with each slice. I'll slice it up after I, after I cut it. <coughs> I mean, I'll slice it up after I cook it. Next up, I'm gonna throw on the veggies. Make sure we get those micronutrients today. Sprinkle it all around. Don't fall down in between the meat, right? The meat's thicker, the veggies are smaller. So you can kind of like spread it around a little bit. That's the way I think about it. And then we're gonna put another layer of cheese on top. And yes, this one's gonna be stuffed. And then tortilla to close. And I press it down. That way everything gets as skinny as possible because it's a skinny meal, right? <laughs> so there we go. Super loaded. Me? Yeah, you. You ready to eat? I know yeah. you like to eat. Foods on the table, we got queso, salsa, sour cream, and guacamole, and our dipping sauces. First bite. That's cheesy. Yeah, I saw the cheese. Mm -hmm. Mom's trying the beans. Here's my quesadilla. I'm gonna go ahead and try a bite real quick for the video. Nice and hot. I got the chicken first, the steak second. Both are cooked well. So that's it, dinner complete. Gonna go watch a movie with the fam now. If you got any ideas of what we should cook for a future family dinner, leave a comment, let me know. I'm open to ideas. I got ratatouille on my mind for some time and also dumplings. If you're new here and not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and drop a like. If you're returning, then as always, welcome back. For now though, I'm out. I'm Gunners Alive. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the live stream soon or another video.